Hi, my crafty friends. Y'all, we are going to make the easiest table runner ever. So I grabbed four of the placemats from the Dollar Tree. And you guys, I'm going to put this outside. So I like these because they've kind of got a little bit, um, the materials kind of got a little bit of a coating on it. That way, if it got wet, I think it would be okay. Um, so I didn't worry about lining it up and all that stuff because um, I figured it probably wouldn't line up anyways because we're going to be setting stuff on this, so I think it'll be fine. So we are going to start by hot gluing, and I'm just using regular old hot glue, you guys. I don't worry about using the fabric one. Um, and I'm just going to do two right sides together. And that's what we're going to do on this first thing um, for because we're going to do multiple ways of adhering it, right? So where this is the first set, we are just going to right sides together and um, attach all four of the placemats. And I love this pattern, you guys, because it so reminds me of like, you know, patriotic and 4th of July and all of the things. So I think this will be super cool. Um, they always have different ones, right? So this is really, I mean, for $1.25 a placemat, this is a really cheap and easy way to have different um, table runners. So I'm going to just keep repeating that step. Um, you can see once it starts to come together, um, we need to secure it down so it lays a little bit more flat. And I'll show you how we're going to do that here in just a second. But let's go ahead and get this uh, third piece on. And I did four on this one, depending on how long your table is. Um, you might need to add a fifth one in or maybe just have three. But uh, for the chest outside, I figured four would be perfect. I didn't want it to hang too far down, but just enough uh, so that you could see it. All right, so uh, just be careful if you do try this. Um, I should have worn my little uh, finger things for the hot glue because it would like squish out. And then I was like, ah, oh, I'm terrible about burning myself, but I need to work on that. All right, so now that this one is done, um, just another thing I wanted to say too, if you are going to try to match up the patterns, um, just be mindful of doing that in the store. <laughs> Because you might buy some and think, oh, I can get these to match. So maybe some of them are a little bit different than others. Um, but I think it'll be fine because like I said, we're going to be putting all sorts of stuff on that. So now I'm just going to uh, lay it down. And this is where you can see I want it to lay flat. So what I'm going to do is I just kind of pressed it into place. And then we are going to kind of lift up that seam just a little bit and add the hot glue in there. Now what I did was I kind of pushed... Um, the glue gun back into that seam um, and really got it in down there because that way I would hope it would kind of squish out and hold the uh, thing together and it held really really nicely so here it is you guys ah we made a really super inexpensive table runner uh thanks for watching friends don't forget to follow for more